fight to champion Great British Nuclear, and we will get the nuclear industry going again. Indeed, I was the first Energy Secretary to put money, £700 million, into nuclear power since 1986. And I've appointed our first ever. Seven... Oh, 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 order. It's the same for the Secretary of State. It's everybody else's questions, not just yours and the former Prime Minister. Let's go to Ed Miliband as a good example of a quick question. So, the Secretary of State. What an idiot, isn't it? Well, hello, Lena. Do hope you're all well. I don't worry, I'm going to save your ears from what I was Baffer Johnson has to say because he didn't really have anything else to say. Just showboated and showponied and kind of forgot that uh, he's no longer a minister or a prime minister. He's just a backbencher. And it, this was about what the Secretary of State for Energy Security, Net Zero Grant Shapps, had to say, or whatever he likes to call himself, because this was topicals he was partaking in and... Shadow Secretary of State for Climate Change and Net Zero, Ed Miliband, or as he's like to be known as Red Ed, he asked him about a particular minister who said something quite derogative about wind farms. It's important to welcome ex-party leaders to their place, Mr Speaker. My, 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 my only piece of advice is it's important to not want your old job back. Now, uh, can, I, can, I ask the, uh, can I ask the Secretary of State to tell the House which member of the new department's ministerial team in April of last year described onshore wind farms as, I quote, an eyesore on the hills. <laughs> uh, uh, certain Damien Green or Sebastian Green, whatever he likes to call him. I was just having a debate whether it was me or my uh, honourable uh, friend. Uh, the, the point is, they have to be done with local consent, Mr. Speaker, Absolutely. and that is why a proper and is why a proper energy mix, which doesn't just include wind farms but also nuclear for about a quarter of our uh, energy production, is so important. And why we've just appointed the first ever nuclear minister in uh, what some are calling atomic Bowie. But, uh, the, the, the problem is, you see, Mr. Speaker, is that the right honourable gentleman is not the cheerleader for clean energy; he's the road. Block. We've, he we've heard three wind farms in the last eight years. His own department says 79% of the public support onshore wind. Let me ask him, plain and simple, will he bring the local planning regime for onshore wind in line with all other infrastructure? Yes or no? When he calls me the robot, perhaps he missed me, me saying that I was installing solar before it was fashionable uh, to do so. And I absolutely want to see uh, more onshore and offshore uh, wind in this country. Uh, and we're making sure that we're helping with that process. But it's got to be with local consent. Now, the thing is, when he said the words community consent, the words that came through my head was nimbyism, you know, not in my backyard. And I get the feeling that he believes, and quite possibly he knows, that communities will not want wind farms down the bottom of the street, I suppose. But according to him, Spaffer and Atomic Bower, everyone will be quite happy to have a nuclear power plant down the bottom of their head. I know, I'm only kidding, but you, you get the feel what I'm talking about. Now, the thing is, I don't know if about nuclear or wind farms or how safe they are or how safe nuclear plants are but i get also get the feeling that neither does spaffer or whatever he's calling himself this week does either but what do you guys think are wind farms more greener than nuclear i don't know do we need more nuclear or more wind farms or a mixture of both you, you the, i'm sure there'll be far more intelligent people who will be all over this like a car on a car bonnet. You know what I'm saying. Terrible way to finish the video, but you know what I mean. Just let me know down below before I make a pig's ear of this video anymore. And uh, I shall bid you farewell and take care, my friends.